Om Shanti. Today Baba is underlining that I must practice that I am a soul and I must look at everyone with the awareness that that one is a soul. Now the first thing is you see when you see a tree you can see the leaves you can see the fruits you can see the flowers you can see the branches but you cannot see the seed but if you have no knowledge of the seed then you will water the visible you will take care of the fruit what if you take a cloth every day polish the fruit on the tree polish the leaves on the tree and wait for it to shine and bloom but you have no idea how do you water the seed or where is the seed so you know you need knowledge for everything and even when you water the seed you do it with awareness you don't you can't see it you know you are taught that there is a seed beneath the roots and then you with that awareness you just water the seed and that is how the plant is nourished otherwise the plant will wither even if you take very good care of the fruits the leaves the flowers everything the plant will wither and then you also need knowledge about how to water the seed or what does the seed need because you cannot give the seed something that you think it needs what if you think that for my body the mil milk works better than water so let me pour milk not water yes and i will tell you one incident it was very beautiful so it was winters and there is this um, young uh, brother a little one and then he went to his mother and he said you give me some plants from your garden and i will take care of them and then the mother said but you don't know how to take care he said no i have been watching you and i will take better care of them uh, compared to you you give me some plants so she told him okay you take this one plant this is yours you take care of that plant and then the plant died after some time and then the mother um, asked the child what happened and what did you do and then the plant, child was very angry he said i took better care than you people but still this plant died i don't understand why so the mother said what did you do better than me you please tell me that so he said you all bathe with warm water in winters because you feel cold but to the plant you offer cold water i poured hot water every day because the plant might feel cold but you don't you are not sensitive enough to understand that but see is blooming because of your cold water but when i took extra care it died so and this is a true incident one mother was narrating to me so you see you need you need awareness about the seed and you also need awareness about the need of the seed if you don't know so you know there is a method for everything there is a there is a method to sustain everything now you see if you have a bluetooth phone and you try to you are trying to look for a place to insert that pin in the phone so you will not find that pin hole in the phone because it's a bluetooth phone so you need to learn how to connect it 
Yes, you need to learn how to connect a Bluetooth device to a phone. Similarly, you need to understand what is the seed of the human life tree. So, the soul is the seed, then what does the soul need is also something to be understood. And how do you give it to the soul? Because again, you know, this thing about how the soul gets what it needs because it's not food you eat from the mouth so you know when you want to feed the body you need you give fresh air which it breathes through the nostrils you give food which eats which the body eats through the mouth so there is a method to everything so then what is the nourishment of the soul and how do you give it that nourishment so, you know, how do you give it that nourishment through the man and buddhi? So, again, the soul has to learn that we, I have to turn my mind and intellect towards Baba and draw power from Baba. And how am I discharging? How I have to recharge? What is the power of attention? What is the power of remembrance? I have to understand all that. So, Baba says, I give you all this knowledge, this knowledge about you are the seed and you need to be watered and then how do you draw in that life force into you through me. So I give you all these, all this knowledge, nobody in the world has this knowledge and it's very important to recognize that I am a soul and I need to sustain myself and the other person is also a soul and they need sustenance. Now you see we are living in an age of Instagram and it is all about all the time it is all about your voice, your face, your look, your smile, your dress, your walk, your talk. You see, it's a, it's a very, very body conscious world these days, right? And people are trying to, you know, appear a certain way and they want you to have that image of them. And people are investing all their spiritual energy, their time, their thought, their attention, everything into creating a physical image yes and then other people are also looking at that physical image and paying that their attention to it yes so these days you know i recently had an instagram account for seva so when we started it I was amazed at you know how much of body conscious <laughs> content is there and everybody is you know uh, talking in a certain way and walking in a certain way and dressing and smiling and looking and there are different kinds of you know uh, stuff they are doing and all that is very very body conscious and it's all about the appearance and the sound and the sight and a lot of energy is going into the image creation. It's all about how you project yourself, right? But then you see you, if you don't work on the self and you work on the projection. Now you see every soul is working on the projection of themselves and not on themselves. And do you understand that your whole spiritual energy, by spiritual energy I mean the energy of thought, the energy of attention, the energy of time, the energy of, you know, um, what do you say, remembrance. Uh, so all of that energy, if you invest in the creation of an image, then obviously that energy is not going into you know sustaining your spiritual power so you're not able to attend to yourself and then what happens 
there is a neglected inside and a very well built image outside yes so you are looking like the happiest person on earth you are looking like the most uh, you know elegant and the most proper person on earth and then inside you are a mess and then day by day by day it becomes more and more difficult for you to maintain that image yes because the one who is maintaining that image is neglected and the image has grown so much as size it needs a lot of maintenance <laughs> yes that's the problem and that's why people are getting tired of themselves and you know i once uh, there was somebody who was sharing with me that uh, the people who do stand up comedy get very stressed about writing good jokes so you are very stressed about writing a good joke and getting it right now just think about it if writing a good joke because that joke is your identity yes so you call yourself a stand up comic yes so if somebody somebody's identity is i am funny and then you are trying to live up to that identity you have to be continuously funny and to live up to that image you have to invest a lot of time energy thought into being funny <laughs> and then that's giving you stress and then how long can you be stressed and funny after a time you will only be stressed not funny <laughs> and then you will be stressed about not being funny so the thing is you know it's not about what you do but the main thing is whatever you do should be effortless yes and when it is inside out it is effortless yes when it comes from spiritual strength it is effortless when it comes from ego it is very very difficult work it is hard work and then hard work will result in burnout after some time so baba says you understand that you are a soul and you have to work on yourself first so you know a soul is a a soul is a magical creation of nature so i am magic so you know you are you have everything inside you you are funny you are um you are knowledgeful you are blissful you are cheerful you are loving you are everything but if you don't work on yourself and you work on your image of being loving if you work on your image of being happy it will become very very difficult yes and then there are many people who ask us if you take so many classes is it very difficult for you and so you know all day you are talking knowledge so no it's not difficult why not difficult because it's not my knowledge it's not my knowledge i'm drawing it from baba and giving it to you and he's the ocean <laughs> so anything to be sustainable has to be effortless and effortless it will be when it is inside out if you are banking on that external act or external image to create a state inside because you know people are banking on their external image and external experience of success to feel happy and to feel successful and worthy so it doesn't work like that it will result in a burnout yes and then it will also result because you are so you see if you are making too much effort for something you cannot be egoless about it 
also yes so it will be it will give you a very inflated ego and it will make you feel very very burdened with the effort you are putting into it and then what happens pride hath a fall when there is pride when there is ego there will be downfall and when there is effort too much effort you will get tired so baba says you are doing it the wrong way yes if you are i'm just telling you if you just want to put out an image of being simple also it's very difficult it's not just about being beautiful or being knowledgeable but even if you're trying to put out an image of being simple it's very difficult you cannot you cannot hold on to any image which is not you and you can do it for some time with a lot of effort but it will lead to a very inflated ego and it will give you a an experience of being very tired of it so baba says that you must understand that you are a soul and the other one is also a soul so even if you know somebody has created an image and somebody is a film star or somebody is an influencer or somebody is a somebody 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 these days you know there are so many labels people put on themselves when you look at them you should know they are a soul and what do they need they need spiritual drishti so baba says first thing is you should know you are a soul and come what may you must always pay attention to what are you made of so a soul is made of knowledge purity peace love happiness bliss and power and that's all you need and you get it from baba so you need to take out time to study from baba be with baba be in the awareness of what baba is teaching you giving you so that is feeding the soul or watering the seed called soul and then baba says you mustn't do any wrong actions what are wrong actions wrong actions are those which do not fit into your spiritual stage you know they are not in consonance with your spiritual qualities so lust ego anger attachment greed they don't go with your spiritual virtues so you must pay attention to that and baba says when you are in self awareness when you are in awareness of the soul you give yourself what you need and you abstain from what is not right for for you the soul and this is what everybody should know and even when you are looking at somebody even if they are not self aware you should look at them as a soul and you should give them what they need even if they recognize it or not recognize it yes so you don't get influenced by that image which they have created yes you must understand that is a soul and even if they don't understand it they need you know the drishti of purity and love and peace and they need knowledge and it should always be your effort to give that to the soul so this is something that you must understand and you know in in baba's home also there are many times you know people who are called celebrities they come and then i have seen that our dadis and didis they they give them very good pure spiritual drishti they are not influenced by this celebrity status because they understand behind that label that title there is a soul that needs what it needs from its father and i am that instrument who has to give it to that soul so baba says you must always remember that's a soul don't get influenced by the external appearance even if and also you know sometimes the external appearance is the opposite like 
somebody is in rags and tatters and somebody is not well dressed, not speaking a proper language and even then you should know this is a soul and all they need is that which Baba is giving you and you give them that they come to equilibrium so I think that the whole balance of the world you know that equilibrium is shaken up and it is you when you remember you are a soul and the other one is a soul and you give them what they need come what may despite the label and the title and everything then I think the world will be restored to equilibrium very easily so this is something that Baba talks about today and then there are many nice things in the Murli today in one place Baba says that uh, the government is spending so much on uh, research into the sky and you know going into the stars and uh, finding out what's there but Baba says even if you go to the end of the sky or you go to any lengths inside the water or explore the five elements endlessly you're not going to find anything but if you try to find God then and if you find God then you will find everything and Baba says that you see people from Dwapar Yuga have tried to explore the expansion of this earth and water and sky and this and that and they have ended up empty handed but on the other hand there have been Bhagats, devotees who have tried to find God and okay I didn't come when they wanted me to come but now I have come and that's because they have tried to find me for 2500 years so Baba says that those who have tried to find God have found him ultimately <laughs> but those who have tried to you know uh, explore the depths of the five elements and find out something they have not been successful so has anybody been successful in figuring out how to go and procure a land in Mars and live there and go to the stars and build a house there no but we have been doing this for so long and then Baba says and then there are Baba's children you and me who have tried to find Baba of course we have tried to find Baba even if we don't remember it but we must have tried to find Baba we must have done a lot of bhakti and now we have found Baba so Baba says that there are both these efforts people have made effort for that people have made effort for this but those who have made effort for me have found me and that was very beautiful in the Murli today and then Baba today said that you are a soul and it is you who says that I did not have a good sleep today or I had a good rest today and this is very interesting because uh, you know you always think that the body takes rest yes but in fact Baba says that the sleep state of the body is dependent on the soul being bodiless so you know when the soul is attached to the body the soul is in the awareness of the body you are not getting a good sleep so who is, who is not getting a good sleep the soul is not getting a good recharge because it is attached to the discharge medium the body <laughs> yes so the body is the so see the body is so you know earthing so always you know if you are uh, if the body is like it is continuously sapping your energy is it not yes and when you detach your man and buddhi from the body you are recharging yes so that's why when you are totally you know you in, in sleep also when you have completely let go of this world 
you know when you sleep in a state where you are not thinking about the body nothing about this old world and you are as good as dead from this old world <laughs> and then you just transition into your spiritual stage that is the recharge zone and once if you don't detach from the body well then you will feel restlessness and you will feel that you are not properly rested so the soul says i am properly rested the soul says i am not rested and it's up to the soul to rest so you the soul can detach yourself properly and sleep and i remember there was a time when i didn't used to sleep very well like not there was no the, the, it was not that bad but still you know when i woke up i used to feel like um there is some heaviness in the body i felt like my legs are still tired or something of that kind and then i started from that time i started giving my chart to baba and i just started switching off every device phone and all and no information and just coming to that mode where i know i am a soul i have to go back and just in the remembrance of baba and this made me have very good sleep and and really if if you if i measure what is my whole day sleep chart so at night it's usually 4 4 and 1/2 hours never more than that and if in the daytime i find time it's half an hour that's it so within 5 hours is the total sleep of the day and still there is no no fatigue of the mind no fatigue of the body even if there is continuous seva in the day and that's because this one thing you know you the soul have to detach properly so the more the consciousness of the body the worse is the sleep so this is also something that baba says and then baba today says parents teach their children to be vicious parents teach their children to be vicious i will tell you one incident from a lokik family they are not in gyan so the husband and wife came to the center and then the husband said that my wife and i have trouble getting together and then i started asking them and then the wife said my father was a very religious person and we lived in banaras and she was from banaras and she said i never saw my mother and father sleeping on the same bed they were always sleeping in separate rooms and they had a very respectful attitude towards each other my father treated my mother like a saint and my mother also did the same and i never and my and the husband said i come from a family where you know there is lot of you know lot of uh, messing up with each other and this and that and then so they were in discord with each, with each other and why i am giving you this um, example is because your idea of life your idea of marriage your idea of how to look at your partner how to treat your partner your idea about how to look at money how to look at resources what attitude to have towards other people everything is shaped by your family is it not and it is very very subconscious just think about it that that woman after a lot of enquiry i am just giving you the result that came out i had to enquire really deep into what went on in her childhood 
So I figured out that this is how she has seen marital life. So her idea of marital life is it is it is based on respect, not on vice, not on lust. But the other person's idea has also come from what he has seen. And you see, all our ideas are coming from these, you know, what we see as children. And science tells us today that a child is filled with all these impressions about right, wrong, ideal, not ideal. Up to the age of three, three and a half, they are filled with all these ideas. Those, the soul is like, an, like a blotting paper absorbing everything from the atmosphere. And that's what works with the child for so long. And this is why when Baba comes, Baba tells us become a child. If you want to change your son's scars, you have to submit to Baba like a child. Because until and unless you are a child in your mind, you cannot change your son's scars. So when the child is a child, then the sanskars are created. So that's why Baba says that it is very important for every parent to understand that. And Baba says that when I come, I don't teach you anything vicious. I don't teach you lust. I don't teach you lies. I don't teach you ego. Then who teaches you all this? And you ask any parent, uh, the, do you teach them that? They would say, no, no, we don't teach all this stuff to pay children. But you teach them by doing that, by being that. Yes, so whatever you are being and doing, you are beating your wife, you don't need to tell your child, don't beat your wife or beat your wife. He is already learning. He has learnt it. <laughs> He has learnt it. So, you know, you ask small children today, why do you need to get married? They say, she will bring me water. She will take care of me. She will wash my clothes. They know this. Papa is doing that. They know the wife is to cook and clean and take care of the man. And <laughs> we find these things very cute, but it is like that. <laughs> so, Baba says that, all these are coming from parents. So you want to change the society, you have to change your own conduct and the other, the coming generations will follow. You don't have to teach anything externally. Whatever you are doing, they are learning. You mistreat people, they learn how to mistreat very well. Okay. So, and then Baba today says that Baba has talked about tapasya and santushta and then blessings. So there are three things that Baba talks about in the blessing. There is tapasya, there is santushta which is contentment and then there is duai, blessings. So Baba says if you are a tapasvi, then you will always remain contented. So you know, your state of happiness and contentment depends on your karma. Yes, happiness is the product of good karma. And your karma will be accurate when you are a karam yogi. When you are in remembrance of Baba, then your karma will be accurate. When you are following spiritual disciplines, your karma will be accurate. Just imagine a day when everything that you are doing is according to Srimad. You are waking up right at time in Amrit Vela, listening to early morning Murli, yes, listening to the Manthan, having pure food, doing everything with humility, simplicity, with a, with a positive, loving attitude. And then your words are sweet, your behavior is humble. When you finish the day, you are very contented. And even if somebody talks to you bitterly that day, you don't mind. 
Yes, because you complain when there is discontentment inside. So Baba says, when you are a tapasvi, that means you keep Baba with you in every action and you do everything in the framework of Srimat. Then you become a Karam Yogi and that Karam Yogi state and the karma you do in that state will give you contentment and happiness all the time. You will always be happy. And when you are happy, what do you give to the other? You give good wishes to the other. Yes, so you give what you have. <laughs> when you're bitter, you give bad wishes to the other. When you are happy, you give good wishes to the other. And you get what you give. So when somebody, even if somebody has done something wrong, you give good wishes, they give you blessings. They don't even need to consciously give it. Those blessings flow from their heart. So Baba says, just by being a Karam Yogi, being a Tapasvi, so when, you are, when your heart is totally with Baba, you become a Karam Yogi and that Karam Yogi state gives you satisfaction and then that satisfied state becomes the foundation through which you give blessings and receive blessings. Okay.